Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, or Star Wars Clone Wars review in particular in the, for this one. And this of which is on the Clone Trooper Battle Pack and Assassin Droid Battle Pack from 2009, of course. So, first off, for the mini pixel, saved you a little time for box and instructions, of course. First of all, is so for left and right for Clone Trooper Battle Pack is what you get of one is actually three regular Clone Trooper, of course. But of course, one in the middle is and I noticed another one of it. But of course, it came with some extra bits to it that you can custom with them and whatnot. But anyway, but aside from that, not at all the uh, like printing, which wasn't very much common at the time, and of course, front torso printing done quite good. And phase one clone uh, helmet piece done really goodly. And of course, and underneath for each troop is is the usual clone face for the time, of course. And in the middle is middle part is the uh, clone gunner, of which similar torso print, but of course with great arms, of which and unique kind of uh, printing for the helmet like we've oftentimes seen obviously and then for the assassin droids battle pack we get pretty much three silver ones and two black ones of course whereas for these silver ones nice good uh, shiny silver print to them of course a nice silver print or silver coloring to that yeah, I should say uh, which so if you're interested in making some special custom figs and all or custom droid figs well this is which not good way to go and but aside from that the rest of which quite similar to the early IG-88 uh, mini figs from before but at least until around later times they did the uh, uh, cylinder pieces with prints on them of course but yeah and from the back of each one is each of which no double sided face of course but aside from that each back torso printing done pretty goodly of course but and of course, well and of course this is so much good for army building clone troopers and stuff but yeah and that is it with the mini things so on to with the first of the builds which is this clone walker of course well, it does look kind of like a smallish version of an AT-RT walker, of course, but, of course, small enough to be fitted as a battle pack build, of course. So, and, well, that's for some bits of it. So now you're probably wondering, like, why is this front piece in black instead of gray? Well, since I got it used somewhere, I just got it that way, but it's alright. Oops. So these feet of which do are made with a couple of jagged slopes and a couple of those special modded plate pieces, of course, and a couple of hinge joints for their end for standing the walker up, of which good way to do so, and the legs of which out although this leg area kind of similar to that of the Imperial Imperial Stormtrooper Death Trooper one for Rogue One in 2017, so kind of a bit similar to that, but at least it's I guess it's where they got that from. But of course, this was Republic, that was Empire, of course. And then also, if you notice that for the like middle section and the plates here or upper bit here is has some odd uh, lightish green or just regular green to it kind of randomly not sure why but whatever well although i think it could have worked in dark red like with on the leg bits here but yeah and and then of course of course and of course enough space to fit two of your clone troopers in obviously to pilot it of course and have and of course, it has the 
this little tile piece that has the Republic symbol on it, and of course is a sticker. Although it kind of reminds me of the ATDP from Star Wars Rebels, of course, but although those were domes, but this is a uh, just a little plate, of course. A jagged slope in the front, of course, and also good use of these uh, corner plate pieces, of course, and on both sides is the classic uh, flick fire missile, which is kind of weak for nowadays, but if this were made nowadays, I expect there to be stud shooters, of course. And back part of it, uh, not much going on. And of course, simple as it gets for small builds, especially in battle, especially battle packs and things, but yeah. And that's it with this one. And now on to the Assassin Droids one. Oh, it's kind of large for the small price point that it was. This and some interesting use of pieces is throughout this like like from the back part do have a couple of the of these odd pieces is that are used for like fins or ammo fins or something but with the soft tips to them and also do you get also features a spring or a flip fire missile but of course with a a clear purple comb piece on it. And you want, now you're all one green. Where's the other one? Well, kind of dropped it elsewhere, but it's all right. And of course, do you like how the use of these uh, large corner brick pieces or large corner slope pieces? But of course. This is the end also. And of course, enough space, or a couple of good spaces, to fit one of your assassin droid minifigs onto by clipping onto that. Just like we do with plenty of other droid vehicles over time. And of course, a little jumper bit there is where you can fit a gun or blaster onto, of course. Front bit of here. Kind of the same, so you can shoot from both front and back, of course. And I'll do have that uh, car engine piece there. Put the good use there. And of course, blasters from the classic space line, and of course, and curved slopes on the front. Probably to give it the nice uh, high tech speeder look to it, but yeah. So, this was probably around like $12 at the time, so at least it was quite all right for what it was like as if you weren't I, I mean like for both army building the assassin droids and for, of course this was a good parts pack for both the jacket slopes and the uh, uh, dark blue slopes of course but yeah Let me get the two together. And so now for the two together, it, I think it's quite good matchup, or quite good face off match against each other, but yeah. And so now for the, my final verdict on these two. Is overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for the, for the times at which, but Mostly the Clone Trooper Battle Pack one, since it, of course, quite nostalgic for many of us. Since it was a great, cheap, efficient way to get Army Build Clone Troopers back in the day. Hopefully, they do. This, I now I hope they do so again in the future, or also with either Phase One or Phase Two kind of styles, for either for Clone Wars again or for the Bad Batch, of course. But yeah. And although for the Assassin Droid Battle Packs, at least, is for the silver ones, at least, do you get plenty of good silver piece or shiny silver pieces to work around, of course, and also and it does also work out as a good parts pack, which of course bolt sets quite do. And an also good way to get to the back end tail pieces, of course, but yeah. And for the price point they work quite good for what they were back then, even though they might be worth a little bit more for like 
various reasons, but yeah. And now if you still have these sets from back of the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever, and well, good luck doing so. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.